For decades of correspondence dinners, presidents have peacefully yet comically jabbed their political rivals and detractors. In 2011, Barack Obama roasted a private citizen. Donald Trump is here tonight. And obviously, we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um, for example, uh, no, seriously, just recently, in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, at the steakhouse, the men's cooking team uh, did not impress the judges from Omaha Steaks. And there was a lot of blame to go around, but you, Mr. Trump, recognized that the real problem was a lack of leadership. And so ultimately, you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. <laughs> you fired Gary Busey. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. What was Donald Trump thinking? What do you recover from this? Tonight, your answer. Well, I will tell you, I will tell you, it is really a tremendous opportunity to be at the most failed dinner anybody's ever seen. Great to see you losers. A lot of people say that. Hello, everybody. Why is it so quiet? What's happening? It's quieter than Sleepy Joe. Hello, Joe. How are you? Great to see you. We're going to debate, right? That's what they're saying. There's a lot of stars here. There's a lot of great people. There's Scarlett Johannesburg. Scarlett is here from Black Widow. I love the blacks. I really love the blacks. It's true. You have a lot of people that could potentially be a vice president. You have Laura Trump, who's a lot better than Ronna McDonald. Who's a, who doesn't love Ronna McDonald, right? I'm loving it. Who li you, you like a Happy Meal, right? You like that? But I will tell you, this dinner, you're so tight. It's so uptight, right? This dinner is sadder than Taylor Swift's new album, The Tortured President's Department, right? He's, look at him, the white tuxedo. He doesn't like me too much, right? But I will tell you, the Chinese apps are being banned. It's horrible. We have to post our David Peckers on Snapchat now. That's what they're saying. Let's face it, folks. I'm on fire right now like the guy outside the courthouse, right? Not soon enough. Not soon enough. But I will tell you, I am killing this dinner harder than Christy Nome kills the puppies. Moving on, please. Even Bernie has something to say. Mr. Trump, you have no idea what the ordinary experiences everyday Americans are. I am concerned with battling the ruthless dictators like Vladimir Putin. Can we all agree on that? Can we all agree? Even Mitch would agree with that right now. Mitch? Well, let me begin by stating what a privilege it is <laughs> to be at this dinner celebrating ordinary Americans and African Americans. <laughs> Scooby Doo, let me toss it to Barack to close it out. Everybody, DC, you've been a lot of fun. And I have to close it out by saying when I was on the campaign trail in 2008, I let a chant with the crowd, and I would say, you're fired up. The crowd would say, I'm ready to go. So you have a long show. Are you fired up? Yeah. You're fired up? I'm ready to go. Good night, guys. Back to Kelly. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Talk about making an impression.